Securing service accounts is a huge problem. We're seeing it with many of our, our large customers because unlike human users where you can validate that they are who they say they are, how do you validate a service account? MFA doesn't apply. Password rotation is something that companies are trying to do. Usually creates a lot of havoc because when you rotate passwords on, on service accounts, even if one application using that service account for some reason didn't get uh, that password rotated, it'll lock the service account out. It happens all the time. So the challenge with service accounts really starts at the very basic level of even understanding who are your service accounts. Companies tend to group them in an OU and they have a sense that they understand these are their non-human service accounts. That's only part of the service accounts. There's always service accounts that act as service accounts even if they weren't defined as such. So first of all, we discover all your service accounts. We basically analyze all the activity that a service account is doing. We understand all the dependencies between the sources and destinations that the service account is authenticating from. And once we map out all those dependencies, we can suggest and allow you to create automatic virtual fences that limit what a certain service account can do. So we basically protect it from being hijacked. If an attacker gets a hold of the service account credentials, tries to deviate from that behavior, we can just stop the authentication. So the only way to prevent the abuse of stolen credentials and lateral movement is with unified identity protection. You have to see it all or else you're basically seeing none of it.